Hello, I'm bassoonist Michael Burns from michaelburnsbassoon.com. Today I'd like to follow up on a movie that I've made already outlining some of my thoughts about the bassoon embouchure. And what I want to do today is some demonstrations showing how the reed fits in the mouth and how we form the embouchure. To review slightly from the previous video, what I was suggesting is that a favorite analogy to use is to think of the shape we make with a drinking straw. And also I talked about jaw alignment and not really wanting to change overly the from the natural bite. And finally, that not really thinking overly much about rolling in or creating a cushion. So in order to demonstrate, what I want to do first of all is I'm going to take a bassoon reed and I'm just going to part my lips and slide the bassoon reed in just as it as my mouth in its normal position. And what you can observe is how much of the pink of the lips is visible and what is happening around that. This time what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide the reed in and while it's in there, the I'm going to make the lip muscles basically slightly contract around it just to sort of form the seal and I'll go back and forth between it being sealed and not and I hope that you'll be able to see that on the video. Here it is. Now when I talk about rolling in too much what I mean is that some people as they are bringing the reed into their mouth will really make the pink of their lip disappear and it'll be something like this. And you can see I think that everything is rolling in and disappearing. Another thing is that people will apply a lot of the ver vertical pressure and what this can sometimes mean is that it actually leads to leaking on the sides but also squeezing the reed a little bit too much from top and bottom. Really you will sometimes even see the pressure being applied on the reed. Now what we want to do again is the drinking straw shape and we want to make sure that we're really not pulling the jaw back but really that it's staying neutral and that is how I form the bassoon embouchure. Thank you.